Well, unfortunately, the dream of early 2025 for a GTA 6 release date is probably dead. So let's go ahead and just hop right into this. It's going to be a pretty quick little video, but there was a big earnings call today where we got a lot more information about GTA 6's release date. And what you're seeing here is the very general vague statement from Take-Two about their groundbreaking pipeline in fiscal 2025. And I've seen a lot of people run with this and say, oh my God, it's still on for 2025 or early 2025. Uh, because a quick recap for those who are unaware, fiscal 2025 is from April, I believe of, or March of this year until like March of next year, basically loosely. So for fiscal 2025, if they're projecting this groundbreaking pipeline, like they're mentioning here, that would mean the game would either come out in January, February, or March of next year of 2025. But let's dive deeper and see how that's not really the case. Uh, well, here's another statement. Of course, think of the share the shareholders, guys. What? Are, who cares about the fans? The shareholders, they need their money. But uh, we're seeking perfection. Which look, they've already told us that. It's obviously great to hear. When we feel that we've optimized this, we'll plan for release. We're in this together. We have profit sharing plans at the company. Our goal is to align everyone's interests with the shareholders. Again, think of the shareholders. Love that. But uh, yeah, nothing really special in that statement as well. Let's dive. Well, here's the, uh, the stock market. That dove 10%. And that's because of what we're going to get to. So here we have the first thing the first picture from one of their statements or one of their like documents you can find it on their on the website let's just like take two interactive or i don't know if you google it i'm sure you can find it but regardless what's interesting here is on the right hand side for release date so we actually finally have gta 6 on this it's the third from the bottom and you can see it says release date calendar 2025 Whereas the one right above it, Private Division Tales of the Shire, that one's release date actually specifies fiscal 2025. So Rockstar and Take Two, they're, they're being a little secretive here with their words. Uh, here's another picture from, well, that's the, we'll get to that. Here's another picture from the, uh, from their documents and everything, just showing it maybe a little bit better. You can see Grand Theft Auto is the third from the bottom. Again, it's saying launching calendar 2025, where there's that Tales of the Shire somewhere in the independent section that says fiscal 2025. So what I think is happening here is, well, number one, if you want to be a little bit optimistic, they simply just don't know right now. Like Rockstar probably don't know. Obviously, they're still hard at work on the game. And they probably don't know when the game is going to be ready. I mean, the scale of GTA 6 is massive. So yeah, it makes sense. They don't know. And they're just being broad about it by saying calendar of 2025. Because yeah, technically that could mean early 2025. But it also could mean late 2025. I don't think Rockstar and even Take-Two want to get into a situation where they have to announce a delay. That's something they probably don't want to have happen. So that's why just keeping it broad here, calendar 2025, you know, makes sense. But the, the pessimistic side, if you want to be a little bit maybe realist here, that probably means the game's not coming out until late 2025. Again, the game is massive. There's probably still a ton to do. And releasing it in basically a year just does not make sense. It doesn't really fit with what Rockstar's doing, how they want to operate. Again, like their statements, they're, they're trying to get perfection. Well, if they try and rush it out in a year then that's not going to happen. If they have a year and a half, a year and a, you know, a third or three quarters, because they released it at the end of 2025, that makes a lot more sense. And again, the fact that they mentioned a game in fiscal 2025, but then this one's calendar 2025, it just doesn't make a lot of sense for them to, to have those two different terms in this. And one of the other things, uh, as we go to the net bookings, now, unfortunately, I don't believe they've mentioned anything about 2025s yet. Like, obviously, we have $5 billion, That's what they normally make. It was projected, I think, in the last earnings call, they're going to make $8 billion. 
Uh, I don't think they, they've mentioned that again this go around. Uh, we'll have to wait three more months for the next current earnings call because I believe that's the final year end one, which I know it's confusing, but I think that one will give us a bit more information. That $8 billion, they didn't, they didn't refute it. And I think what's actually happening uh, regarding that number is they're probably taking into account pre orders. Because from what I understand, pre orders will go into this amount. So fiscal 2025, if they still are projecting $8 billion up from their normal $5 billion amount, it's not crazy to think that GTA 6, the biggest game of all time, is going to get close to $3 billion in pre-orders. I mean, I know that's that's like a crazy amount because some games, most games don't even hit that. But like, that's not crazy to think that people will pre-order this game the second they can and they'll give their money to, to take two and to Rockstar before the game's even out. So that's probably what that number is referring to. And again, going back to their statement uh, here, they mentioned the and beyond because of course, fiscal 2026, which would be April to like February of 2026, April 2025 to February 2026. Again, very confusing. But yeah, that's probably the time period when GTA 6 is going to release. So, so yeah, a bit unfortunate on that end. Uh, yeah, we were all hoping early 2025. That was just very optimistically thinking, though. I mean, it's just realistically more than likely not going to happen. But at least we got a little bit of an update. So there you guys go. Uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Please drop a video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA 6 content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.